Um, hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Recording. Uh, today I want to share with you some kind of very simple note setup. It's not fully notes um, as I'm also using Bender Deformer. Um, basically, it's, it's to create something like this. It's just like a kind of like a cylinder cylinder with um, irregular holes. I mean, the hole is the hole itself is pretty regular. It's like in a hexagonal grid and this was inspired by oh i don't have internet uh twitter the, uh, a tweet by jan fanden hamel he made a lot of uh this really quick step-by-step -step video to generate something interesting so this was inspired by that so what we have here is there is a circle that's kind of deforming this guy right here so it's kind of making these shapes and we can definitely close that up and then just remove doubles um, so this is the final result but if I get rid of the bezier it's basically flat okay so this flat surface is basically generated using a uh, spectrum add-on and if I uh, actually get rid of the solidify and subserve this is what we get it still currently looks pretty complex but uh, this is because of the inset if I get rid of the inset you can see this is just like a a plain hexagonal grid and being kind of being extruded in the distance actually I can zero it out so now now that's looking really really simple and the inner part is turned off by default I think it, it's actually on so that's uh, that's the default and yeah like I said this is just a polygon grid it's a hexagonal you can change it to square or triangle depends on your need hexagon and there's also this all kind of different combinations um, but that's this is basically the default over here and there is nothing much you can change the, the number of X and Y uh, you probably have used these nodes before and the angle we don't need to change that the scale also keep it at one the size it's uh it's the size the scale uh but what's important is here is the this inset special so you can easily inset this guy to create like a whole if you if you, if you subdivide it it's gonna be a circle and you can so, uh, solidify if you need to um, but for now to, to, to turn this into something that looks cylindrical we use uh, a circle and curve deformer so let's enable this so we have something like this and this guy ha can have some kind of thickness um, now we can play around with this if you want to close it up so in this case we need to increase the Y until it's sort of closing itself and with this setup of course you, uh, you, you need to do a little bit of manual work but it, it is possible to create a kind of nice design like this and you can definitely print this out or use it for other purpose in the future if you want if you want you can also kind of randomize this randomize I think I haven't tried this so that's kind of making it more irregular more or less but still kind of cylindrical and then you can you can just subdivide it let me try randomize the seed 
increase the shape. It's kind of like a Fornoy-ish. But yeah, that's a, that's a little bit more irregular, I guess. This part, this part you can, you can try to remove double it. But I kind of like it. It's, a, it, it's looking very natural. So yeah, this is just a quick uh, kind of remake of this Twitter. I will provide you the link, but I don't have internet somehow. So anyway, so yeah, I will share this with you. Share this setup. You, you just need a Spreadshop add-on and Blender and you can create something like this. Um, basically based on this kind of complicated. I mean, it's the nodes making everything really, really simple. Um, yeah, so hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.